So here we are, we're at the Wyala beachfront. Um, it's probably about an hour and a half, two hours after I took the initial video and um, the sun has finally come out. You can see the water's just um, like crystal clear out to the dark part there. In fact, the, uh, the tide's been going down quite rapidly um, here. So what I got told by some locals is that where the dark section is out there in the distance is where this water will recede to. There's a bit of a sand bar there which you can see out in the distance. Um, so this water will recede out there. Where the uh, iron ore ship is, a barge will actually take the iron ore out to that ship and then they'll transfer it to the ship because the water's so shallow here, the ships can't actually come in. Um, and on the other side there, we can't see, is, uh, is Port Pirie. Apparently on a very clear day, you can actually see Port Pirie on the other side. So this is still the Spencer Gulf um, that, we're, that we're at. Um, but this water just looks magical at the moment. But it's quite cool, probably 18, 19 degrees when I went and felt it uh, earlier. And there's the, uh, the cafe where we sat down and we had a coffee. Um, they've actually got some nice uh, food in there, but uh, it was a little bit early at 10.30 to be having, a, uh, having lunch or a bit late to be having a second breakfast. But a nice walk down there to the other end as well um, that we did. So uh, we're about to pack up and uh, we'll continue our trip down to Arno Bay. In fact, I think I can just see some fish out there in the water. Um, not as many fish here in um, the Spencer Gulf as there is in New South Wales. Um, just looking at the uh, the board, which shows the uh, fishing bag limits. There's probably about uh, 15 different types of fish that you can get here in the Spencer Gulf um, compared to, to being elsewhere. But uh, that water just looks magical with the sun on it. Um, but it is, as I said previously, going out uh, quite quite quickly. Anyway, that's it for now.